Hey guys, Jira Collects here, and welcome back to another YouTube video of um, collecting typewriters. And this is going to be episode three of my typewriter collection of the typewriter series. And yeah, let's get right into it. So this typewriter, this is a uh, a very nice case for it. This was a this typewriter was a gift um, to me uh, from a secret santa so um that was a while ago though i think one and a half years ago about but anyways let's get right into it i love this typewriter so yeah um this is a newer typewriter you can obviously tell that because of its color um and a little bit typewriter history just in case you guys didn't know typewriters um they changed from black to colored, as you will see, blue typewriters, um, these green ones, and more. Um, they changed, they made that transition in the 1950s. Um, you will still see uh, black typewriters in the 1950s. You will see a little bit of colored typewriters in the 1950s. Um, but it is super cool either way. I have one colored typewriter from the 1950s um, in which I will be showcasing off in another YouTube video. But anyways, let's get right on to the Remington Travel Writer. So, um, this typewriter is a very nice typewriter. It is very nice and smooth. Um, so, um, something that I didn't tell you guys uh, because this is the first typewriter that I'm reviewing on this channel that actually comes in a full blown case. Um, as you guys might know, uh, to get a typewriter out of its case, you would want to go to the sides. As you can see, there are these, these clips on either side, right here and here, uh, right here and here. And what you wanna do is you wanna go around it and put both of those down, and then you'd be able to lift up the typewriter just like that. So let's take the typewriter. Now this is a smaller, lighter weight typewriter. Um, so it is, it is, it is light. And yeah, let me move the case over here. Put the typewriter back in frame. Is that back in frame? Eh. Yeah. Uh, anyways, so moving on to this typewriter. Um, this typewriter does not have a lot of features like you will see in other typewriters. Um, the main reason for that is that this typewriter was made to be compact, small, lightweight, and portable. Um, so one of the first things that you're going to need to do on this typewriter uh, once you get it is, uh, there's a little lever thing right here, and that is the locking mechanism. That makes it so that the carriage, the carriage right here, is in lock position. It is not able to move left or right. Pull it up, and now it is able to move nice and freely. Just like so. Um, now, the first thing you might notice about this typewriter, the keys are green. They look really nice. Um, now, looking at the keyboard first, so let's bring you guys over here. Uh, one of the first things that I like to point out when I'm doing one of these typewriter videos is uh, the very top. It is a two to zero um, keyboard. Um, it does not have the one in it. And yeah, so it, it goes from two to zero. Another thing, it goes from A to Z. Um, it has backspacing. Uh, it has all the different types of things that you need, like the uh, dollars, um, all the different sorts and stuff like that. The and symbol, parentheses, and all stuff. Um, uh, here on the right, left side, not right side, we have the shift. As you might notice, look at that. 
it is a carriage shift. So what I'm going to do here is this is not a this uh, is it okay? So this is a pop off top. Um, so the pop, the top does pop off just like that. Comes right off and shows you guys the entire inside. So the carriage shift. This is the first typewriter that I've shown off with a carriage shift, or the second. I, I believe so, including the electric typewriter that we did in episode two. Um, so yeah, the carriage shift, you shift and the carriage, which is this piece, or not the carriage, um, the basket will move up, down and up. The carriage shift, the carriage right here will move down and up. Um, then back to the keyboard here, we have the shift lock. There we go. That was weird so yeah we have the shift lock and then we have the backspace which works perfectly so you guys can see uh, we have this now this key is the margin release and it also I believe so doubles as a way if you get your key stuck like that you don't have to manually go in there and push them back like that you can let's see can I get them stuck again there we go you can go here and press this button no that is on a different machine not this one so um, this is just the margin release button and then you have the shift on the right side of the machine and that's about it for the keyboard and there's the space bar so yeah um, so that's going to be it for like the face of it. There's also the um, the ribbon switch lever. So that will switch the ribbon, um, the left and right ribbon to make it so that it will be able to move. Now, another thing on this typewriter um, is here is the um, the... Um, well, I'm having a brain fart right now. This is the carriage return lever. Um, so that is a longer lever, as you guys can see right here. Um, it is a longer lever. So that looks really nice, just like that. Um, and that's going to be about it for this machine. Uh, there are uh, carriage release levers on both sides of the machine. There's one right here right there and there's one all the way over here right there um, but yeah and then the margins are right back here right there and right here and to move them you just push them down and then slide them with your finger just like that and then they pop right back up now this one does not have bunny ears like I've showcased on episode one and two I do believe that those had those typewriters had bunny ears um, but this one does not have any bunny ears. Um, and so, yeah, that is going to be about it for this YouTube video. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, this is a very nice, smooth typewriter. I do believe this will, may have been the third one, third my third ever typewriter, which is very nice. Um, the it is, it is very clean, um, very good. Uh, it's very smooth. And, yeah. That's going to be about it for this YouTube video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you didn't already, please go down and comment, like, and feel free to subscribe. And I'll sure share this video on any social media, via Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I really do hope you guys enjoyed. And it does look like there's a storm brewing up outside. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. That is the Remington Travel Rider. And this is Jericolex. Out. And it seems nothing on my touch screen is working. Huh.